Okay, problem nine. Problem nine, last problem. The thin, uniformly charged, charged rod shown in the figure below has a linear charge density of lambda. Find an expression for the electric potential at point P. Okay, it's not too bad, kind of like the last one. Use the following as necessary. Hmm, that's a lot of letters. Okay. So, start writing up what I know about voltage. I know that voltage is negative integral E dot dr. Bam. Okay, good. Hmm. They didn't give us an E. And I really don't want to find E. They did give us linear charge density, so let's go with that. So, a small bit of V will equal K, a little bit of Q, over R, where a little bit of a, a lambda equals a little bit of Q over a little bit of length, therefore a little bit of Q equals lambda delta L. Okay. Now we need to look at R. So R is going to be for a little piece, this piece right here specifically. Draw some sort of dotted, ah, it's not very straight, it's okay. And maybe I can do better. Nope, it's going to make it worse. All right, so this will be the R. I'm going to call this length L. This will be B. So R will be L squared plus B squared, square rooted. Okay, got that going. So now we're going to have K. Lambda delta L over L squared plus B squared, square rooted. Okay. So now that we know, so now we know that big V, the V overall, will be K lambda delta L over L squared plus B squared, square rooted, integral. Okay. Whew, I don't know if I know how to do that. Oh, I think this guy is a trigonometric substitution, specifically tangent. When you add them together, it's tangent. I think when there's a negative on the, the variable, then you use sine. And when there's a negative on the constant, then I think you use like cosecant. No, I think you use secant. You use secant. Anyway, this guy I'm pretty sure is tangent. So we'd say that L equals B tangent of theta. And then we would work through that and come up with an answer. I don't want to do that. I'm going to use the magical Wolfram. I don't think they would give you an integral this difficult on the exam. So I'm going to Wolfram this guy. So I'm going to phrase it though as the integral of x over, no, of dx. There we go over square root of x squared plus a squared. That gives us, ooh, that's quite the answer. Okay, and this is, they're using natural log here. So, equals k lambda natural log of a squared plus x squared, which in this case is b squared plus l squared. There we go. Square rooted plus l. Okay, and then we know that we're going to do this, the limits of integration here, which I failed to mention earlier, will be from little a to little a plus l. So the limits of integration on this guy will be from a plus l, will be from a to a plus l. So the big total we'll have will be k lambda, natural log, 
of b squared plus a plus big L squared, which would be a squared plus 2al plus l squared square rooted plus a plus l. And then we're going to subtract the uh, same thing for a. So for natural logs, what we can do then is we can just put one on top, the other one on bottom. Give myself a little more space here. And on bottom, we're just going to have a. So it'll be a or b squared, because b doesn't go away, plus a squared square rooted plus a. There we go. Now I know that's not particularly simple, but I think that's the answer. And it kind of fits in the whole idea that the last problem they give you for the homework always seems to be a little bit excessively difficult and complicated. Yep. So all right then. That is how you do the last problem. Problem nine. All right. See you next week.